Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to yet another video. My name is Peter all the way from South Africa. If you are new here, welcome and if you are returning Sabi, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Miss Universe Philippines is underway and I cannot wait to cover all all the activities that are happening throughout until they are crowning that one special queen. As you all know that they always are dropping all the content that we are always salivating for, right? So at the moment, I'm going to give you my top 10 for this, um, for the, for the evening gown rather, for the evening gown portraits. And I can tell you right now, we are about to be surprised because these girls are fighting they are fighting all over whatever that they are doing they are fighting as you all know that they did the portraits for the swimsuits and now they did the portraits for the evening gown i was like you know what i'm not doing the swimsuits because i was underwhelmed there but the evening gown holds up i am doing it so for your task on your side i need you to give me three of your top three portraits for the evening gown and um so that we can see if they are actually looking the same as mine and also make sure you do it before you watch the rest of the video you comment with your top three and then you can watch the video so that you can see if we got them right the way that you actually like them right so without wasting any more time let me give you my top 10 best evening gown portraits so at my number 10, let's get to Leite. Oh, you know what? I said when I was looking at this picture for the first time, I was like, mm, you look like it's a ballerina going on here. But I, I didn't notice that she was wearing high heels. I thought she was doing the, some ballet, some, some ballet stuff on that portrait and or, on all of those things. And the royal blue worked perfectly fine for her. You know what I love about her? It is her legs. I was like, girl, you are definitely in my top 10. I am not leaving you behind because this picture, she looks like she's comfortable in it. She looks like she was enjoying the, the rest of the whole thing. And whoever was directing that picture did super well. Nothing is out of this world on that picture, but the hair, the, the, the skin is more glowy. And the whole pose as well, it looks like very angelic. It looks like very um, bold, like a bold woman and all of those things. But then again, it is the Philippines. Let's get to my number nine. And my number nine goes to Bulacan. Come through melanin. Come through melanin. I was like, okay, this picture is too simple. But when I was looking at it for the longest time, I was like, mm -mm, this picture is not too simple. But this picture is elegant. She's wearing this um, metallic two-piece. Um, it is like a crop two-piece stuff going on. But she broke it with that that bluish um, powder, bluish um cape or something like that it looked beautiful on her the hair the skin the background for me was everything because it defined herself perfectly well outstanding outstanding my number nine is very outstanding let's go to my number eight my number eight goes to Southern California. When I saw Southern California's dress and the shawl, I was like, okay, girl, you're giving me Hollywood. Girl, you're giving me the, the U.S. as a whole because that, that, that pose, it looks like she, uh, she was about to attend a concert. She was about to, to attend an opera concert for, for that matter. Or she was about to attend a cocktail dinner somewhere. It looked beautiful, elegant. It looked like um, a classy. Marlene Monroe or something like that. I loved the styling on it. They did not go for too much um, earrings or too much necklaces and stuff like that. They just went for a very simple look. But with a shawl, that shawl makes her to look very classy. It looks like she's in front of a beautiful London old building or something like that very beautiful i love it let's go to my number seven i think you're gonna be surprised my number seven goes to baguio i'm not really that much crazy about that picture 
but I loved her hairstyle. It gave me editorial picture. It was giving me Milan fashion week. It was giving me Paris fashion week. It just gave me everything. That hair. And that hair for me, it looks like it symbolizes a certain culture or a certain tribe. And it was giving me all sorts of things like um, Japanese um, cultural hairstyles and stuff like that. It was giving me all those things or a, like Asian as a whole. It represented Asian Asian as a whole and um, what I liked as well is paying homage to her flag and obviously the pearls um, her flag has got that sunny gold yellow um, color going on I think that 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 cape cape like um, stuff at the back and um, on her bust area it represents those colors and also you can never go wrong with a velvet black dress she looked like a mermaid she looked like a sculpture she looked like she was about to be presented a, an oscar or something like that she looked fantastic she looked beautiful it is not an out of this world picture but it looked it worked let me say it worked my number six goes to Ilo Ilo City. Ilo Ilo City as well. I felt like I needed more from her, especially on that picture. Yes, I'm not going to uh, exclude her from these pictures because she definitely gave it all. But she looked a bit like um, she was a bit, yes, fierce, but there was such a, so much uncomfortable stuff. I think they should have went for a different um, picture because I saw that there were multiple pictures that I saw on social media and I liked a certain picture. I will show it somewhere. Um, but that picture for me, I feel like, yes, we see that she's beautiful, giving melanin and um, fierceness, but I want her to see, I want to see a different side of her because I've seen a lot of pictures of her with the fierce face. I want her to, to, to do a different um, type of facial expression on these pictures. And also that pose for me, it doesn't work, especially if your legs are not well, like long defined legs. She does have long legs, but um, you see when I'm talking about long legs, it's legs like the legs that I saw from Leite, Le, Leite, rather. They, you can definitely see that she's got a bit of long legs going on. And I wanted to see something like that. Or she should have gone for something that is higher. The shoe should have been higher. And um, also, I feel like they should have gone for a different color of the shoe. Um, I don't really like that shoe on her because um, when she's got this this yellow goldish dress, goldish dress, um, I feel like they should have gone for something that will be also taking the spot as much as she's taking the spot. She worked perfectly fine for that picture, but anyway, she looked bedazzled, my darling. Let's go to my number five. And my number five goes to Cebu. Cebu also gave me the ballet and ballerinas and all of those things. Um, I loved the fact that they went for something that is a bit of purplish and the light that um, was used on her also was purple. It was giving me party time. It was giving me... Um, it was giving me very classical um, ballerina type of things, swans and all of those things. I loved her. Um, and also I loved the fact that they went for a background that was not overdoing it with purple, right? That's, that's just me. That's just me. Let's go to my number four. And my number four goes to Palawan. Palawan is just always giving. And um, the fact that I've been noticing her so many times that she is elevating. She's doing really great on the pictures. She's looking like she's enjoying the moment. She looks like she's just a woman with substance on that picture. The dress, the detailing on the dress, fantastic. Her physique, fantastic. 
the hairstyle, the makeup. I think whoever is doing her makeup knows how to master her face because you can literally see each and every defined features on her face. And the earrings, they were not too much, but they gave you something. So you got a lot of things from this portrait and you still salivating um, with her beautiful face and facial features and that red lip, hands down, she is definitely beautiful on that picture hello number three and number three goes to Zimbales. who did that dress because i want that dress i just want to have that dress on my wall somewhere behind a glass just to appreciate it especially the bodice part that dress is beautiful and she knew how to work it the hairstyle Oh my gosh, they went for a simple look when it comes to jewelry. They didn't too much bring too much jewelry because that dress alone is jewelry. That face alone is giving jewelry. She is a jewel. She is something else when it comes to that picture. I loved it. I loved it. And hello to my number two. Oh my gosh, my number two is an alien. I've never seen such thing. I've, like, is it a flower? It looks like a flower. It, it looks like something that is out of a sci-fi movie. It looks so fantastic. Is she able to walk around with that dress? Because is it a dress? Like, who came up with that idea? Because that person is a genius. This is a portrait that I'm talking about. This is perfection. And I was struggling between her and my number one. I was like, you know what? I don't know which one is which, but I said, you know, my number one, I feel like she is special. She is special. And without saying too much, let's get to my number one. And my number one goes to Laguna. Oh, oh my gosh. When I saw the background on that picture, I said, okay, queen of the forests, come through queen of the forest is coming through the face the hair the the, the structure the physique the waist the dress just worked perfectly fine with everything the mist between the trees the tree trunks laguna give that girl the crown and then we're going to fight the next edition of Miss Universe Philippines. Give her the crown. Looking at that picture right now, I'm like, mm, this is the Miss Universe that we've been waiting for for the longest time. She looks like an Asian girl who is mixed with everything that is existing in this earth. She got a bit of melanin. She got that beautiful volum voluminous, voluminous, voluptuous. <laughs> What am I saying? I don't know what to even say because that picture for me just gave me everything that I wanted to see. And um, she looks very tall on that picture. I don't know if she's that tall, but she looked very, very tall. She looked like a skyscraper. I loved that picture from Laguna. That's, that's my thing. Who is your favorite within my top 10? I'll see you on my next upload. Have a fantastic one. Peace out.